Do I have to file ISF for other networking devices? Hello and welcome back to our customs brokerage video series. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, the importer security filing, also known as ISF, for networking devices. Many importers often wonder if they need to file an ISF for networking devices. Let's delve into this question and understand the requirements involved. When it comes to customs regulations, it's vital to stay compliant and fulfill all requisite obligations. The ISF is one such obligation that must be fulfilled for certain imported goods. Regarding networking devices, the general rule of thumb is that ISF is not required for most networking devices, such as routers, switches, or modems. However, it's crucial to remember that there are exceptions to this rule. If the networking device is a combined unit that includes additional functions, such as a router with Wi-Fi capabilities or a switch with a built-in firewall, then an ISF might be required. This is because the device would fall under the harmonized system, HS, code that covers devices with additional features or functionalities. Now, let's talk about the concept of a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the importer will fulfill their obligations and pay any duties, taxes, or penalties owed to the government. It is a requirement for all importers who wish to enter goods into the United States. A customs bond provides protection to the government and allows the import process to proceed by offering financial security. When it comes to customs brokerage, it involves the completion of various tasks related to customs regulations on behalf of importers. This can include filing the necessary paperwork, coordinating with government agencies, and ensuring compliance with customs laws. Customs brokers are licensed professionals who specialize in navigating the complex world of international trade and customs clearance. Their expertise ensures a smooth and efficient import process. Now, let's move on to the customs declaration form. This form, also known as the CBP Form 3461, is used to provide detailed information about the imported goods to the customs authorities. It includes details such as the importer's information, the country of origin, the value of the goods, and a description of the merchandise. The accuracy of this form is crucial, as any incorrect or misleading information can lead to delays, penalties, or even legal issues. Another important aspect of customs clearance is the utilization of a bonded warehouse. A bonded warehouse is a secure facility where imported goods can be stored for a specified period of time without the immediate payment of duties and taxes. It provides importers with flexibility in managing their inventory, as it allows them to defer payment until the goods are ready for distribution. This can be particularly beneficial when dealing with large shipments or seasonally fluctuating demand. An increasingly common practice in the field of customs brokerage is the use of electronic submission of paperwork. This modernization has streamlined the import process by enabling importers and customs brokers to submit necessary documents digitally. Electronic submission saves time, reduces paperwork, and allows for faster clearance of goods. However, it's essential to ensure the accuracy and completeness of the electronic submission, as even minor errors can still lead to delays and penalties. As we conclude today's video, we hope you now have a clearer understanding of the importer security filing requirements for networking devices, customs bonds, customs clearance, customs declaration forms, bonded warehouses, and the significance of electronic submissions. Remember, staying compliant with regulations and leveraging the expertise of customs brokerage professionals are essential to successful and smooth international trade operations. Thank you for watching, we encourage you to stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming content. Disclaimer note below, until next time, take care and happy trading.